um, there are <laughs> probably all of us here um, don't look very kindly on uh, philosophers who have made a huge thing over the hard problem of consciousness. However, by concentrating so much on consciousness and what would, what would be required for an explanation of consciousness, the kind of thing we were talking about in the first lecture, you know, and entailment, do we, do we require entailment, do we, you know, or something less, um, have they had any effect on, co uh, my, my sense is they have, they, they've rewritten well, cognitive really science to a certain extent. I think that um, the area of cognitive science is, is just happy hunting ground for philosophy for a very simple reason. They haven't figured out exactly what questions to ask yet. Mm -hmm. And there have been a lot of interesting false starts. So and the they is the philosophers? Or the no, the, the, the cognitive the scientists. scientists. Yeah. And and I mean, just just look at the history of psychology. Look, I mean, look at look at look at the the brave tries, the, the Skinnerians and the Gestalt Brain. psychologists and the introspectionists and the and and we've had wave after wave of enthusiasm, and almost certainly there's none of this is stupid. There's always a, a, an important contribution to be made, but it's not been anybody's specialty within the science to sort that out from a sort of uh, a bird's eye view and talk about, well, what in the end does Skinnerian psychology offer after we subtract all the confusions? Isn't there a message there? I, I'm one who said yes for years, and I think people sort of came around to a lot of that. And, and similarly for the sort of every Every enthusiasm we've had, uh, complex dynamical systems. Uh, uh, right now, the current hot topic, and I think for very good reasons, is predictive coding and Bayesian approaches to uh, modeling in the brain. These are uh, very tempting, very tempting perspectives. And so very smart people succumb quite properly to the temptation and throw themselves onto one bandwagon or another, and then there's a merry chase. Now, uh, that's very different, I think, from what happens in, in physics. I, I don't think there's anything quite, maybe that, maybe, maybe it isn't so there. I don't know. Well, I, I'll, let, I'll let the people who know much more about well, physics than me. You said scientists haven't figured out which questions to ask, or just scientists in that particular field. In that, in, in those areas, I think. Okay. I think there's a. I think there's a. There's, a, of course, uh, this is m me speaking. I find sort of leftover Cartesian assumptions everywhere. Uh, people that just somehow can't rid themselves of the idea that there's a place in the brain where I am. And where everything comes in, and that's where the consciousness happens. That's the Cartesian theater, as I call it. And uh, if if I put it as baldly as that, your average car that is science say, oh well, of well, course I, I, I don't I mean, believe I, I, that. I'm, I'm, but then, but then. So there's bad science. I mean, big yeah, deal. Yeah, you know, but that's. I'm but not, the fact I'm not is, moved there's a. There, but, there's a lot of you know not but there are quite, a lot of the questions that are on our board are actually you know addressed by you know sometimes even pro, you know not bad cognitive science. How do you make a moral judgment? Yeah, yeah, what does yeah, it mean to make a decision? Yeah. You know, is it free in some you know operationalized sense? So you know, is there conscious experience? What does it mean to recognize a word and its mean? That's th are those improper questions? No, I mean, those are seem to me the questions at the very much at the center of what we're trying to figure out, and those don't seem to be improper. I think so. I think, yeah, I, I, I think oh, that there's a, so take the neuroeconomics case, from which I agree that that's, you know, a lot, that's just kind of bollocks to use your, I'm, I don't think I needed to come to philosophy to realize that I can take those experiments that are pretty well myself, not being a philosopher. They're just shitty experiments with, you know, false assumptions false and bad science. techniques. But then there's also a, deep, so there's there's also, <laughs> but there's also a less well-known so good kind of neuroeconomics. There is, that's right. right. So there, but do we need, does that, uh, you know, require an interaction between the sciences and philosophy or experiment uh, to come to that. It doesn't, doesn't follow. It doesn't, right? it doesn't but, require, but, but it doesn't even does it help. either, right? I mean, we can get good <laughs> ideas from whatever they come from. Yeah.